Shana, the text messages revealed that the alleged victim here asked his girlfriend for help a number of times, but he also told her he asked for an autograph. In additional text messages revealed today, Kevin Spacey's accuser asked his girlfriend for help a total of four times that July night in 2016 before telling her he also got an autograph. And New an Center autograph. 5 legal analyst Greg Henning. So this is the type of evidence that each side will have a different argument for why it's relevant. Initially, she doesn't believe him as he details what's allegedly happening inside the club car on Nantucket, how Spacey is gay, how he touched his leg, then his groin. He tells her Spacey kept buying him drinks and that he was now drunk. The prosecution is going to say that this is a contemporaneous record of the alleged victim saying, help me, I'm being sexually assaulted by Kevin Spacey. The defense is going to say he willingly sat with Kevin Spacey, he engaged in conversation, he chatted with his friends and even bragged about it. The alleged victim and his mother, Heather Unruh, now say they don't have the phone and haven't seen it since turning it over to prosecutors two years ago. Police say they gave it back. Henning believes it may all lead to a hearing next month with witnesses testifying. The most severe sanction that the defense can ask for, given the absence of the alleged victim's phone, is dismissal of the case. Unlikely that that happens. Still, legal experts do believe this could be a tough case for the Commonwealth. We're live in Boston, Julie Lonchek, WCVB News Center 5.